Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 7th, 2019. So yesterday we had a little bit of trade number problem that created a little bit of bearishness here in the market. But the good news as of the close is we did not break down below Monday's low. Now this morning, it looks like we're going to get a little bit of a bearish push into that level and possibly even break that level. Overnight futures suggested that we could move about 100 points lower. But right now, we're trying to rally off of that low as we approach the morning open. So watch this closely. If we were to break that low, we could see just a little bit more selling come in and maybe a little panic um, coming in, just raising that fear level just a little bit. If we do pull back, you know, watch this level right in here. We might catch a little bit of price support right in that area so kind of keep that in mind as um, we watch this morning's open if we can hold right here at the low of um, monday's low we should be okay but there is a little bit of concern here starting to build in the market with just you know slowing economic numbers uh, trade numbers weren't good we we've seen housing numbers not so good there was a suggestion yesterday that um, employment may have peaked so we're just we're just running into a few little obstacles here um, that are um, causing us a problem a little bit of a problem now honestly we should not have been surprised at all to see you know the market after such a substantial run-up running into price resistance and experiencing a little bit of rest or a pullback that's really not um, uncommon and that shouldn't have been a very big surprise to begin with but um, we don't want to see this get um, too um, nutty here and we don't want to see the the bears really really take over so far what we've seen has been a rather controlled pullback um, nothing nothing substantial here so we want to see that main those bulls maintain that control and continue to push and if earnings continue to roll out this morning as they are they may be good and positive we may also get some tr um, economic data that's good and positive we could see um, this even begin to bounce up off of here and I'll show you why I think that in just a moment let's take a look at um, the SPY SPY pulling back here as you can see pulling back right from where we would expected it to right around uh, that um, um, resistance high and so no big surprise here this morning we're looking at maybe just you know an open about where we closed um, it looks like we're gonna try I think we're gonna try and hold that low um, uh, unless we get some uh, additional uh, economic data or something like that that uh, kind of forces us lower let's take a quick look at um, the cues the Nasdaq has held up really quite well and as you can see holding on to this support even yesterday with that push down we didn't want to give that up now this morning it looks like we're gonna try and give that up just a little bit right at the open we'll have to wait and see if buyers step in to support that or if the sellers step in to support that gap down open um, of course you can see this resistance level up here was pretty visible it was not hard to see that we could run into a little bit of a challenge right here so let's keep an eye on it and um, I don't know don't want to try and predict which way we go from here but um, we don't want to see uh, this breaking down maybe below this level right in here hold in here and we should be perfectly okay um, in the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM got a little serious yesterday. It, it got busy uh, moving down and um, well just put on that bearish face after breaking through uh, back down below this level of support so got a little bit serious yesterday um, this morning IWM is looking like it may open about where it closed and a push down into here would not be all that surprising but we don't want it to really sink a whole lot more than that um, find some support in here and then maybe start uh, picking up a little bit let's take a look at the VIX real quick 
VIX pushing that resistance line that I've been talking about here. And right now, as long as we stay below that, I think we're okay. If we get more selling today, we certainly could pop out of there. And remember, the real danger is not really popping through there it would be a hold if that holds as support here and then we see more selling in the market that's where the real problem could come in where the real fear could start to spike up in the market so kind of watch that closely if we do happen to catch a bounce today though um, that would be a great sign here with fear pushing down possibly from this level and that could give us um, that nice bullish signal so kind of keep an eye there on the VIX let's take a look at T2122 T2122 that four week new high new low ratio and as you know I've been talking about this for some time that we were way overbought and really strung out here for a long period of time to the upside well you can see now with this rather controlled pullback this has moved sharp lower and if we get this morning's gap down as we're expecting we could be right down here in this bullish reversal zone um, at the open so if we see any more selling down in here into this uh, bullish reversal zone we could expect possibly just that short-term oversold rally um, that doesn't mean that we're gonna rally all the way back up but just a little bit of relief uh, could possibly occur um, at any time and that's one of the reasons why you don't want to chase this gap lower this morning we want to make sure if there is additional selling after that gap, we wanna make sure we're waiting to see that they're gonna push it down. Because if a if a pop and drop pattern, like we saw on last Friday and Monday, if a pop and drop pattern is valid, then a drop and pop pattern, just the opposite of that, is also valid if we gap down and then pop back up. So watch that close, we don't wanna chase. Now if, remember, we, we just because we moved down into here, doesn't necessarily mean we have to immediately come right back up as you can see we can kind of bounce around down in here for a little bit but we we will likely see some kind of um, rally back up off of here before too long unless we get some kind of piling on of uh, bad news remember we have um, some things that we have to be concerned about um, as we move forward um, in this market and one of those being on Friday with that employment situation number and the housing starts number both on Friday uh, that could uh, signal some more uh, issues for us if those numbers were to come in poor let's take a real quick look at that economic calendar if you don't mind um, that economic calendar today not such a big deal because we you know obviously this number is always uh, one of those numbers that can move the market around but it happens every week so not like a really big um, surprising number uh, normally occurring there so watch that jobless claims number we do have productivity and costs here at 8 30 as well wouldn't expect them to move the market all that much unless there's a giant surprise and then the ea um, natural gas report i wouldn't expect that to move us around really at all and then just a bunch of bond announcements and bills we do have a fed speaker here this afternoon and then we have the fed balance sheet after the market closes but i don't expect that to move us around so just a lot of uh, things to be aware of but the real big the big stuff is right over here and what we might see today is we might see the market just be a little bit soft and choppy today because we're waiting for these numbers to come out so don't be surprised if after the morning pop the market just really slows down and waits for um, for that also tomorrow as you can see in the big red letters here uh, Jerome Powell speaks tomorrow so lots on our plate still we have about a hundred and um, eighty or so companies reporting earnings today uh, those earnings are coming in already this morning so you want to stay on top of those in case um, uh, you happen to be holding one of those you want to always pay attention to that ahead of time and try to avoid 
um, um, jumping into a trade right before those earnings reports. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits and great success in your trading. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. And always, always feel free to share this video. You know, grab that link and post it on Facebook, post it on Twitter. Um, help me out in reaching more people with this morning preparation video. And thank you to all of you who take the time to leave those comments and click those thumbs up buttons. You guys are awesome. Um, and we've seen some growth as a result of that. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. Hey, let's take a look at a few stocks that might be of interest to you this morning that could be setting up. Um, I've been mentioning uh, BB for a few days. You can see BB in that consolidation. Well, yesterday BB decided to pop and take off in here and look really, really good. So as you can see, BB moving on up. Now there is a course price resistance over in this chart to be, to be concerned about and watch, but right now we have a nice little trend and that was a nice powerful move. Don't be at all surprised to see this catch a little pullback after such a big move, but watch, um, uh, watch Blackberry here because it's starting to perk up and look pretty good. Um, another um, chart that we've talked about several times that finally made its move yesterday was um, a Mo Altria Altria popping up here nicely yesterday moving up strongly and I don't know it looks like we're going to open about where we closed but looking pretty good overall in that chart so nice little pattern one to kind of keep an eye on um, GoPro GoPro picking up some steam here yesterday after a nice little pullback, little hammer follow through pattern, little morning star type pattern right here, looking pretty good. Now we do have the concern of all this congestion up here. So GoPro may run into that congestion and not go much further, but you'll want to keep an eye on that if that does happen to break out. And it is looking pretty good. Let's take a look at Qualcomm. Qualcomm breaking its downtrend here. There's that downtrend break and proving to hold this support level. You can see we popped through that support level, held on to it, and then yesterday we saw buyers start to pick this up. So our trend is right in here looking pretty good now of course qualcomm we do have resistance right up in here that we have to worry about but right now this is what we call a roundabout a breakout pattern this is a very typical pattern that we trade an awful lot in hit run candlesticks and right way options and that is a beautiful pattern and um, I, I gotta be honest one of the most profitable patterns consistently profitable patterns i have ever traded and it works um, just fantastically well but the big resistance levels still have to be respected in a chart, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. Another chart that popped back onto my buy list is uh, Baidu. Baidu, um, you see I had an alert on this here, and it, it's something I watch for all the time. Break the downtrend, prove it can hold it as support, and then I'm looking for entries into that trade. Well, Baidu broke down, was not able to break through and hold um, that downtrend. But notice we had this rejection here of this low, this higher low. We pushed up pretty strongly. And so now Baidu back above that 50 day moving average, back above that downtrend. If this were to settle down and relax in here, hold, maybe drag that 50 day moving average out a little bit, we might see those buyers start to pick up in here and move that higher. So keep an eye on Baidu. I don't think it's out of the woods just yet, but I don't think I want to toss it to the sideline either. So keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all great success today. And I know there are, I, I hear from folks all the time, folks that are struggling in their trading. Um, I want to encourage everyone to never give up. I, I will tell you that uh, as, uh, you know, I'm just an old carpenter and it took me years and years and years to figure this out. One of the things that, that even though I, I threatened several times, I was just going to quit. Um, I, I persevered and pushed through that until I finally kind of got things figured out and started moving along. 
some of the key factors that you really need to focus on to improve your trading I have posted in some recent videos take a look at those videos on YouTube um, I, a couple of them uh, you know the one I posted uh, just yesterday actually it, it's not a sexy subject but it's it's a subject that everyone needs to focus on if you want to improve your your trading so take a look at those videos please make sure you subscribe thank you everyone for all of your support for the channel you guys are awesome take care of yourself have an awesome awesome day and we'll see you bright and early friday morning take care